the difference. PG Academy is, um, it's basically their, uh, it's just below their competitive team. So, um, it's the Confederation Keepers. We've got a best of seven clan war. It's three diamonds and a Masters player for each team. It's Orchid's uh, SCV seems a little bit passive there. But, anyway, I'll do the introductions. The map is Yansu, so spawning in the top right-hand corner. It is the blue Terran player from PG Academy. It is Orchid in the bottom left-hand corner. The red Terran player from the Confederation. It's Cryptes. And, uh, yeah. So, I've been working on my camera hockey. So, like, I'd do that, right? If I was, like, super sick Gosu, like, GSL caster or something like that, I'd be like, yeah! Right? Something like that. Um, and over here, I'd be like, yeah! Right? I've been working on it. Maybe I'll, wh maybe I'll whip it out later on. Later on tonight, but um, oh, I have to set myself to busy. <laughs> you actually sent me a picture of you. Okay, I'll put it on later. Um, anyway, uh, <laughs> I can't believe you sent that. We got a gas first coming out here from from Orchid, an eleven refinery. So um, looks like it's going to be eleven eleven, maybe double reaper, something something crazy like that. Um, so the one in the title is the A team. And the B team is Platinum Diamond. Okay, cool. Um, yeah, so GM Masters is the A team, which is, uh, I guess, just a step above what, what's going on here. But So this SCV is going to go scout. Looks like it's just going to be uh, the one racks for now. But the 11-11 coming out, it's going to be super fast Reapers. Um, I would expect, I mean, I kind of would expect a second, second racks if he wants to go big or go home. Um, one thing I'm noticing, though, it's very clear. Uh, you know, that Orchid came into this game and this was a strategy he was going to execute. So I'm interested to see how he does that. He doesn't actually get to delay the barracks at all. Um, the barracks finishes a little bit earlier for Orchid than for, uh, or for Cryptes than for Orchid. And he's actually just going to go straight into the factory. So we're going to see super fast cloak banshees from Orchid instead of the a Reaper despite going 11-11. So a nice little interesting transition. I'm not sure if it was because it was, it was scouted a little bit quicker than he anticipated or, or what have you. But, um, I mean, as you can see in the production tab, the, the factory timing is well ahead for Orchid. Cryptes behind this is, uh, and we've got the, okay, reactor going on the barracks, cool. Um, not even at 100 gas yet is Cryptes, so, uh, we've got some, we've got some time for him before anything comes down. Um, tech-wise, he's now getting the reactor. Um, this is a popular build that's, that's good for, like, Widowmine drops and stuff like that. He can use them defensively as well. As uh pretty sure we're gonna see a starport come down. See a hundred gas. Yep, there goes the starport. So reactor is gonna finish, double marines are gonna be pumped out here. And um and away we'll go here. So um yeah, a little bit more information as the uh, the orbital comes down or the command center comes down for Cryptes about how uh the clan war is gonna work tonight is uh the three diamond players for each team are going to go first. And the ace player for each team basically is a master's level player. So um, just kind of a more fun way of doing it rather than both teams kind of throwing out their master's player first. And then at the end of the day, it's like, well, um, you know, like if, if your master's player wins, then your team automatically has a huge advantage. But having them both go at the end of the day uh, will be kind of cool. It'll be a little bit more fun. So um, Orchid's build, totally not what I thought it was going to be. Um, Got a couple Marines, Medivacs coming out, so looks like he wants to do some kind of drop. Uh, and he's supply blocked eh, momentarily. Spidey Puss is finishing up. But this command center is about to finish as well. We're going to see some reactor Hellions coming out here for Cryptes. Um, this is a, a very kind of economic opener for him as he misplaces his factory onto the reactor. And uh, <laughs> nobody saw it. I didn't, I'll look over here. I didn't see it. Um, but. Either way, uh, chugga chugga choo choo, medevac comes around with some Hellions, and, uh, well, taking a look at the units tab, there's six Marines on the map. They're chilling right here. And the medevac's gonna come over. This is a three Marine Hellion drop coming around to the back corner of the base. Um, plops them down. There they go. They're gonna do a little bit of damage. Let's keep, uh, track of the workers killed here none so far one worker does die uh, at the cost of a marine so nothing game ending here for cryptes and you have to remember this is going to put him in a pretty solid position man because he's uh 
He's got the orbital. He's pumping out Hellions right now. Um, these two Marines will come in here and be annoying. But there's, I think there are enough Marines here to deal with this. There's, oh, but this Widow Mine could, could be nice. Could do something. Could be useful. Could be useful. Could be useful. Oh, no. Oh, okay. Useful. Definitely useful. These Hellions are going to try and roast these Marines. Get some pretty good shots off. But they trade Marine for a Hellion, basically. Um, and that is no good. Uh, and here comes the push. So suddenly Crypty's uh, back's not against the wall yet. But he could be in trouble if he... Uh, if he trades poorly, if, if uh, he lines up for these Hellions, which it looks like he's doing, his other Hellions are going to come back here to try and help out the Marines, try and focus fire him down. The Viking kills off the Medivac, which will help uh, make these Marines a little bit more squishy, but Cryptes ends up uh, crushing this back. He loses six workers in the process, so back to even on workers. Behind this, though, the, or uh, the command center is about three-quarters of the way done. Um, I, a part of PG, a CAD. Um... And, um, so things kind of stabilize here. Again, Cryptes maybe comes out a little bit ahead, just because he's, uh, he's already got his orbital finished up. He's, he's moving it over. He's got a uh, slight lead. Well, actually, he's dead even now in Harvesters. So, um, you know, but he's got, he's got, I don't know. I actually don't know who's ahead. It's pretty even right now. Pretty even. But it looks like Cryptes is perfectly content to, to make his transition to Mech, ultimately. Um... You should take these gases pretty soon. As the scan goes down, it's going to see this uh, kind of, well, relatively solidified and defended position here for Orchid. This bunker going down at the siege tank placement. It's going to make it pretty difficult to attack into this, so he's going to be content to just kind of build up his Raven, start to establish some sort of air superiority with the point defense drone, lay down a second factory, and transition into his mech play. On the other side of things, Orchid finishing off as, uh, as the drop comes into the base. This could be a little bit annoying for Orchid as, uh, well, the siege tank defensively placed does very nicely here. Crypty's going to try to continue to kill kill off some stuff and he should just pick them up before... Well, uh, he... Okay. Um, yeah, let me know if... Uh, the stream's not working. I think I don't. I don't think I'm dropping frames. I'll check real quick. Yeah, I haven't dropped any frames. So, um, hopefully that's a problem on your end and not um, not on my end. But I really haven't dropped any frames. So, I don't know. Um, any user doodle. Uh, second, third factory coming down for Cryptes. The tech lab's coming down. He actually does he not have any tanks yet? Yeah, he has no tanks on the map. He has a a decent worker lead. Forty to forty one to thirty four. But this push with these siege tanks, I mean, Hellions are good, man, but siege tanks are pretty good against Hellions. So, um, well, he kills off a lot of the Marines, which are the buffer for it, which is nice. And, uh, well, this tech lab, or uh, this factory should get a tech lab as well, as it does. And, uh, the siege tank production will start rapidly here for Cryptes, and his supply is going to increase as well. And that's one of the things about uh, Mech is it's it's pretty supply-heavy. So he's going to fly up in the supply counts, and this wall is actually being built at the cost of trapping these siege tanks momentarily out. And uh, yeah, that's the AI for you, right? Well, he's going to just push out again here. I wonder if Orchid realizes that there really weren't any siege tanks out, and maybe he thinks he has some sort of window here. Uh, as far as his air control non-existent right now though so uh, he's just got one medevac out on the field these marines uh, don't even have stim or combat shields yet I don't know if I like this push maybe just to the tower to take map control and then to move back but I would certainly not commit with this if I am orchid until uh, combat shield and everything else finishes up here uh, the vikings immediately immediately shoot everything down the siege tanks siege up but the Hellions can come right up next to them, give them a big old hug. And uh, actually, they can't get quite the engagement that they were looking for. Supply count's still just a touch in favor of Cryptes, but uh, maybe not the best attack by the Confed Terran player. And these Siege Tanks will start stair-stepping their way in. These units are going to come forward and start picking off SCVs. The worker count is now in favor of Orchid. And, oh, the Medivac tries to drop on the Siege Tanks and... and just doesn't. Now the SCVs will come off the line and they'll kill off what's left here almost certainly. The mule uh, for moral support will come along as well. And this is going to be picked uh, cleaned up here, but now Crypty's behind 
10 workers. His uh, third command center is, is now finishing, but Orchid's got his on the way as well. Um, yeah, the stream, honestly, I have it up over here, and it looks fine for me. I don't know, guys. I'm sorry if you're having trouble um, of uh, having trouble watching it. But anyway, so this is looking a little bit trickier for uh, Cryptis. Need to be trickier. Um, I like, I love this barracks here, by the way. I saw it earlier, didn't say anything. Um, the good thing for him is he's playing mech, so he's going to have like all these siege tanks. And it's going to be really difficult to engage into. The problem for him, though, is he lost in that engagement. He lost his three Vikings and his Raven. And the Raven is almost the bigger uh, bigger part of that story. As these Marines are going to try and uh, siege over here without any sort of uh, high ground spotting. So they'll just take a free shot. And, uh, okay, cool. Stream looks good for you. That is uh, that is what I like to hear, man. Um, and, uh, yeah. So I keep getting distracted by the chat. Um, Cryptes has his third command center down, his orbital. Neither player has moved it out yet. Um, and I think it's going to be... Uh, Cryptes isn't in a position right now where he can really move out comfortably with it. Um... This is like a, oh, and a hidden base coming down for Orchid as well. I've actually never seen that on this map. This map's pretty small. So to to hide a base, it's actually kind of hard. But to think about it, uh, there's never a time that Cryptes is going to come over this way. Uh, and he can't see it from this watchtower. So now with a couple of medevacs, though, Orchid is going to come over here and try to uh, siege up this position as well. Awesome. Glad uh, the stream looks good for you as well. Um, and... Looks like Orchid is going to just back out now. Um, he's continuing to rally units forward as he moves his third forward as well. Uh, a couple of Vikings go down, it looked like, for Cryptes. So that's uh, going to make life a little harder. He's got his Raven coming out again. Uh, probably didn't want to have to remake that. He still only got one Starport, so he had to switch it uh, to get that out. And I think Orchid is going to be thrilled that he's kind of got this pseudo-contain here. Um knowing that there's only two bases here for uh for cryptes oh man transformation servos i actually i don't know if i ever as i yawn i don't know if i've ever casted a game where that's actually been uh been researched so that's check that off the bucket list right um this medevac is gonna say hello to some turrets and then boost away so Kind of anticlimactic. There's an engagement coming out over here, though. Looks like Crypty's got the better end of it. He was able to smush the tanks and push out with his Blue Flame Hellions now. He's got uh, one zero upgrades. The Bio, on the other hand, also just one zero. So both players are a little bit behind in the upgrade game, maybe where they should be at this point. But uh, that just makes it even in that regard, because they're both behind equally. So now, though, this mech army, taking a look at the army supply, a head in army supply, just shy of being even in workers and this bio ball is going to try and push forward these hellions though are going to be here to meet it and uh they'll kill almost everything to the point where yet yeah, the hug of death will come from the scvs but this push comes forward these siege tanks hugging the wall here and that base is going to have to be lifted off again this base well it's been landed but there's not much going on with it and now just a super heavy marauder ball here there's only nine marines here um and it looks like maybe a counterattack is what Orchid is looking for. These siege tanks should honestly siege up in anticipation of a counterattack. But he's going to move out. This might just cost him here. He sieges up. All right, he sieges up his tanks. And these marauders are going to start just getting slaughtered. Crypty's taking a very solid fight here, pushing back the Terran army uh, pretty considerably. Marauder tries to hug up again. Is he going to get it? Is he going to get it? Is he going to get it? Yeah, he gets it. Okay, so the Marauder kills off that siege tank. So, um... And then now Crypty's pulling ahead in supply. This third base... Well, it'll be landed any second now, I guess, for Orca. This is where he's decided to relocate. Crypty still has not moved out with this third. So, um... And there are some units mining here. I would expect the Mule Parade to come down there at some point. Um... So I wonder if Cryptes thinks he's in a better position than he is. The scan goes down. Uh, sees that the third base has been relocated. The rocks are being knocked down. And I think the thing is here for Cryptes is he might be able to just take a fight straight up. Um, these tanks are going to get caught out, though. Three tanks go down. Uh, the rest of the army 
is going to get chased down. Is he going to be able to siege up and try and fight this? He's just trying to retreat here. One tank gets caught out with the concussive shells. The rest of the tanks siege up immediately. And uh, got ourselves an old Mexican standoff for now. And, uh, yeah. He does need to take that third ASAP. I agree. 100%. 110%. Taking a look at the income tab. Can I control I that? I can. Awesome. Um, well in favor of Orchid. Um, and he doesn't even have... The mules aren't here. He's actually muling over here, which I would, I would say is a minor mistake. Uh, anytime you hide a base like this, as he now puts down the mules, you want to really mule this location to get as many minerals from there as possible before it... Uh, I mean, whether it inevitably gets found or not, um, it'll, it'll get found. So now Cryptis feels comfortable enough to take this third base... Uh, he's pretty well defended against drops, which is nice. You remember that one drop that came over here, and Orchid was like, well, F that, I'm not going over there anymore. He's really deterred any sort of drop play for the remainder of the game from Orchid, which, uh, when you're playing this bio-heavy style against mech, you kind of, you don't, you don't need to drop a lot, but your army is going to have a very tough time matching up, um, pound for pound, um, in, in just like a man fight. So you either have to kind of get lucky and uh, your opponent kind of has to botch the fight a little bit, catch a couple tanks on siege. He should be probably repairing these tanks as well. Um, but it's it's hard to just win this fight straight up. I mean, you look, there's only four tanks here. Um, where are the rest of the tanks? Oh, just chilling. Just chilling. Um, he should bring those with him. There he goes. Um... Yeah, okay, so now comes the army. So they're actually even on tanks. Um, Hellbat's a good unit. I love that, how that looks. Let's try and zoom in on it. I can't zoom in on it because they're gone. God. Liaison, why do you suck at camera operation? Um, scan goes down. These armies are... Oh, well, it looks like Orchid wants to fight here. Tanks siege up and the... Well, the Hellbats are just going to march forward and kill off these tanks. Siege tanks in range as well, killing off pretty much all the marines here. The Hellbats dancing back and forth while the tanks continue to rain down. The medevac drop goes down on these tanks and, well, at the end of the day, I actually have no idea who that was a better fight for. It was really, really even. Um, these tanks here, though, are going to have to scamper away. There's still a Hellbat buffer here. Uh, the tank count as Thors are now starting to enter the picture as well for Crypties is 8-8. Eight to eight. So both players, uh, were, I guess in the, the net tank total, minus two. Um, who is Carol in chat? He is, uh, I don't know what his chat is. Oh, okay, there it is. Found it. You guys did it. I got there. Um, okay. 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 Come on. Show it to me. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Somebody tell me where it is. Somebody find the battle cruisers. There they are. Wow. I do this all the time, by the way. This is like my, my casting uh, sign. It's like a sign that liaison's casting if there's like this building right in his face and he can't find it. So anyway, the siege tanks siege up a little bit earlier for Crypties. They're going to start this engagement. The Hellbats are going to march forward. The siege tank's going to march forward, or the Thor, I should say, is going to march forward. And, uh, well, the fact that Crypties doesn't see this... Uh, transition coming from Orchid could be a pretty, pretty, um, yeah, see, thanks, Boogie, um, pretty serious issue, um, he's getting three Vikings out at a time now as Orchid, on the other side, though, there's still, like, there's just nothing here that, that shoots up, there's a Viking, those shoot up, um, and that's actually it, like, that's actually it. This base is now being established as well. The fourth, uh, the fourth is being built for Crypties, but it's going to get killed off here. Um, and uh, I don't know. I don't like this position right now for Crypties. It's 177 supply to 152, and um, any second now, these units are going to push in here for a counterattack. Any second now. Uh, the engagement, though, up here is where the attention of Orchid has been drawn. Come on, you can do it. You've got him selected. Stim forward. Oh, one siege tank. It's going to get focused down in a New York minute. Now the orbital is going to be focused down. Meanwhile, this push continues to push forward for Cryptes. The orbital will fall. The SCVs, uh, well, should go down with it eventually. 
But this push comes forward, the Vikings come out, the battle cruisers come out, and even if this uh, these tanks cleared up, yet yeah, Cryptes just taps out with the GG, was unprepared for the battle cruiser transition coming out from PG Academy's Orchid. So game one between Prometheus Gaming and the Confederation goes to Prometheus Gaming.